We both flew down from Chicago yesterday afternoon aboard one of the giant new 21-passenger flagships of American Airlines. It took us only three hours, 55 minutes, to fly nonstop from Chicago to New York. When we landed at Newark, we found another flagship of American Airlines waiting to take us to Lakehurst with our equipment when we were ready to go. And incidentally, American Airlines is the only airline in the United States which makes connections with the Hindenburg. The Hindenburg left Frankfurt, Germany, yes, uh, Tuesday evening, rather, at 7.30, their time. And for better than two and a half days, they've been speeding through the skies over miles and miles of water here to America. Now, they're coming in to make a landing of the Zeppelin. I'm going to step out here and uh, cover it from the outside. So, as I move out, we'll just stand by the second. Well, here it comes, ladies and gentlemen. We're out now, outside of the hangar, and what a great sight it is. A thrilling one. It's a marvelous sight. It's coming down out of the sky, pointed directly towards us and toward the mooring mass. The mighty diesel motors just roared, the propellers sighting into the air and throwing it back into a gale-like whirlpool. No wonder this great floating palace can travel through the air at such a speed with these powerful motors behind it. Now, the field that we thought active when we first arrived has turned into a moving mass of cooperative action. The landing crews have rushed to the post, the post and spots and orders are being passed along and last-minute preparations are being completed for the moment we have waited for so long. The ship is riding majestically toward us like some great feather, riding as though it was mighty, mighty proud of the place it's playing in the world's aviation. The ship is no doubt busting with activity, as we can see. Orders are shouted to the crew. The passengers are probably lining the windows looking down the field ahead of them, getting their glimpse of the mooring mass. It's practically standing still now. They've dropped ropes out of the nose of the ship, and uh, it's been taken a hold of down on the field by a number of men. It's starting to rain again. It's, the rain had uh, slacked up a little bit. The back motors of the ship are just holding it uh, just enough to keep it from... It's burst into flames. Get it, Charlie. Get it, Charlie. It's right, and it's rising. It's rising terrible. Oh, my. Get out of the way, please. It's running, bursting into flames, and, and it's falling on the morning fast, and all the folks between that this is terrible. This is the one of the worst catastrophes in the world. Oh, it's... It's, 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 it's flaming. Monday. Oh, four or five hundred feet into the sky. It, it, it's a terrific crash, ladies and gentlemen. The smoke and the flames now. And the frame is crashing to the ground. Not quite to the mooring mass. All the humanity and all the fans are just feeding around it. I don't do it. I can't even talk to people. His friends are out there. It's a... It, it's a oh. I, I can't talk, ladies and gentlemen. On his it's just like there are massive smoking wreckage. And everybody can hardly breathe and talk as a craving lady. I, I, I'm sorry. 